All right, everybody. Crop of Cars with you again. We're going to do this experiment a different way. And I want to show you, I'm going to prove to you right now that six foot four, 280, maybe 300 pound, 53 year old bad knee Alec Murdoch couldn't have couldn't have done this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you right now. All right. We are going to play along that this is the feed room door. This is Paul Murdoch, and I've got it painted gold to be for his head in the way that he was outside the feed room door laying down. Now, we all saw in the Murda murders Southern scandal, we had the Wall Street Journal reporter who was out with the jurors. Do you remember that? She said it was 12 steps away. Well, let me show you what 12 steps away. It's not 12 feet. It's 12 steps, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Here's Maggie's head. That is roughly 34, 35 feet from Paul. That's 12 steps, okay? This right here is an angle of 41 degrees. I did an online protractor, and if I pull up and come back here, right? Come back here, there's Paul, I'm at 41 degrees from Maggie. Now, what's this right here? This, as far as I'm concerned, is killer number two. There's killer number one. Here's killer number two. This killer shot Maggie approximately seven seconds after Paul was shot. So if you're Alec Murdoch, why are you getting a gun, a 300 blackout, and running over here? First of all, you can't make it. You can't get there and get down. What we have over here, alongside this old fence, is the hangar door entrance. This was approximately about 12 feet as well. She comes running out of here, and she's running down. She's running down, she's running down, and she gets shot right here at a 41 degree angle. Why do I know it's 41 degree angle? Because the crime scene expert said there's a dog house right there and the angle of the shot that went into the dog house was at 41 degrees. There's 41 degrees. There he is. There's the shooter. The shooter also waited until Maggie was right here to shoot her. And at the angle to shoot, he is down on one knee like I am. There it is. There's the entrance. There's where she ran. This tells me that the person waited a very long time and it was a sloppy, sloppy shoot, right? One in the abdomen, one in the leg. Now what happened after he shot her twice? According to SLED and SLED testimony, if this is the hanger over here, there's Maggie laying down. Killer number two then got up and moved over here to 84 degrees. There's Paul. There's 41. There's 84. Now, was he this far away? I don't know. But he moved to a, a, a 40, or excuse me, 84 degrees. I imagine he could have gone over here and got a little closer, moved from there to here, and then shot her again, and then walked up on her and shot her in the head. But I'm going to time this 
and tell you how fast I can go from here to here and get down on one knee. All right, so if I've just shot Paul and I'm on the ground, I've got to grab my 300 blackout and then I've got to run a distance to over there and drop down onto a knee. Or if it's Alec, get it way down low, down by my knees, which would be a really hard shot to make. And hit her. It's just impossible, people. I am telling you, it's impossible. Then, to go from this angle of shooting her to this angle. I don't know. You tell me. Hey, everybody. Crap, I'm good. I, um, I forgot to tell everybody uh, about the timing thing. Um, from a down position, I timed myself getting up I barely, barely me, and I have, I don't know, better knees, but barely could get over there in that amount of time. And you got to remember, Maggie probably heard the first shot, boom, turned her head like, what the hell was that? Boom, heard another shot, okay, and then runs out. So that means that Alec and Maggie were probably running together, if it was Alec, but I'm telling you, where the second shooter was, was the second second shooter lined up and he was facing towards not only the hangar but towards the house the main house that's what he was doing he was sitting there making sure that alec or maggie weren't coming down and holy shit she surprised him and came flying out of that hangar and he waited so long he waited so long to shoot her it took her a long time to run that it was about 12 feet you're talking about 35 feet i don't know how fast maggie can run but she was running towards him, and he was like, what do I do? What do I do? Can't let her live. So, that's the experiment. I just don't see it happening with Alec Murdoch. It was two people. And you get that on paper and put it outside to the inch. Jim, Dick, talking to you. I can recreate it for you. Take me out to Moselle. I'll do it for you. Simple. If I can do it with pieces of wood, think what I can do out there. Call me. See ya. Crop a go.